and also I'll give a very basic example of switch statements. Okay, same way how we have if else, same way we have something called switch statements. It's a similar thing, but with the syntactical different, but they both do the same activities. Okay, so now what is switch statement happening? So now we have uh, like how if condition satisfied then do these things, else do that thing. Same thing we can achieve using my switch statement also. Okay, switch also is one control flow execution statements. Okay, what do we do? The syntactically we will write switch on expression. Okay, then we see when let me write it in in general order when value one then execute this statement. Okay. Otherwise check for the next one when value two okay then execute something else. If nothing is satisfying then when else then execute this statement. It's like this statement. Let's see if I'll try to let me go to my anonymous window. I'm just going to execute one small piece of code. Okay. Let's consider I have integer number equal to 20. Again, I'm taking the same example. Okay. And I want to see how my switch statement works here. Simply what I can do, I wrote switch okay on number. Okay. Then I'm writing like what would it be for you check if number less than 20 or like that. So I'm just going to any expression you can you can check. Okay, if number less than 20 or greater than 20, any kind of expression you can do also. I'm just taking the same number directly. So now you can use when okay uh, number is 10. Okay, I want to print this. System debug debug. I'm inside 10. Okay. Or uh, when number is 20, I want to print system.debug I'm inside 20. Okay. Let's say like same way if I if nothing is satisfying, then what the part I can say when else I can print system.debug I am not satisfied. Okay. Like this statement also, I can write. And the moment when I'm writing this statement, that means it's like a if he fails, but a switch statement we call. So it takes what is the value of number. Okay. Now it takes number is 20. Okay. Then I'll come inside. I'll see where I have block 20. Is 10? No. I'll come to 20 block and I'll execute this one and everything everything will be skipped. If on this statement, if I go and execute what I'll get as output, if you go here. See, I'm inside 20. Let's consider I gave value as 21, not matching to 10, not matching to 20. I'll come to this one. This one. Okay. So now let's uh, execute it and see where I'm going. See, debug only. I came, I'm not satisfied. So if you see I have value of 10, then I'll come number. I am trying to check. Okay, it's 10. Then nothing about the value, whatever calculating here, it's matching to which block. Okay, it's 10. That means I'm inside 10. I'll come here and I'll see. I get, went to that statement. That means out of so many statements, I control only to execute this one. Others we are skipping. So I can control the flow of execution by using if else, by using switch also. So switch what do? The syntactically we write switch on what expression so i have taken the variable here and when the value matches do these things uh, mahesh manas ask me any clarification you need on this see these basic things what we're discussing we'll write in the program when you do program you will see the real-time implementation how it's happening but i'm just educating what are these things when you give in the yes scenario best person and we write program and uh, that moment, uh, if I explain this, you may not understand that moment. So I'm just making basics first to be clear. Then we'll write the real-time implementation program. So, Any question on this? Yeah, tell me. You're saying that the switch will only happen when exactly that value is met, whereas if will be 
when we did less than or it will it will be more like a loop it will keep checking till we have satisfied that kind of condition it, right yeah no i will not say it is like a loop because like loop you will go for uh, executing again and again but this will not again, execute again this is only one time execute if satisfied then i'll execute inside this if not satisfied then i'll go out, out of this out of this block loop when you come where we're going next to loop statements when you go to loop we will execute again and again till the time I'm satisfying the condition. Okay. And just maybe it's a silly question, Devashish. Are you in the console right now? Because I can't understand what screen are you in when you are where it yes, shows execute I mean, anonymous Google Chrome. Is that a different app? Where are we exactly? No, 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 no. It's an anonymous window. See, first of all, don't worry. It may be any silly question or difficult question. <laughs> okay. You can ask. Feel free. You should. We're learning. Okay. Which you should ask. It may be anything. Nobody is going to say anything to you. Okay. You can ask anything. Even you can ask what is this icon. That also you can ask. Okay. okay no need. <laughs> yeah. So if you go to this cell source, then you can go to my developer console here. It's a developer yes. console. I open this That's where console. I went. Yeah. Yes. Then uh, uh, in this developer console, what I can do, we can write a class which you can save on the system. Or we may have trigger or anything in the system to save and also i may write a piece of code which i do not want to save anywhere but i want to execute only so that is nothing but my anonymous window okay, this one I, okay, okay. I just maximize it that much only. i just maximize that much only okay okay yes. this is my three statements okay. yes yeah so jen uh, could you please go to this uh, syntax so for yes. just I want to see once yes switch on the expression and is the value so what by expression evaluating the value that value matching where okay okay so first uh, in the switch on expression first you will evaluate this value if this value matches to any of this uh, loop that means any of these statements that that only will execute. Yes. correct so but see. in general uh, we will use mm -hmm. oh, most more right and basically we use if else more very we don't use like mm, truly to speak in my application we don't have a switch statement everything yeah, we do in the my, my arc also in my office so i never yeah. saw see this switch statement we don't had before but i think before one and a half years or two years switch statement introduced in the apex it was no. not there before but this was in the oops programming in java everywhere there but we no. don't have it. it's no. recently it's there so we may use but uh, it depends. So we are compatible with APLs also. But you should know. So I explain what is this switch statement. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Perfect. Thanks, so I man. hope uh, you all are clear till now. Correct. Yep. yep. Perfect. So same way. Let's see one more basic concept which you call looping. Okay. So my flow of execution I can control by APLs or switch and also loop. And when I say loop, what is this?